What's up, guys? So here we are with the Came TV Profit Panasonic GH5 Speed Boosters Sigma 1835. Got some screwdriver and the quick release plate that comes with the gimbal. So we're gonna try and see if we can balance this setup with a new Profit. This setup right here is about four pounds roughly, and this is supposed to support up to 6.6. We're about to put that to the test right now. Let's go. Now, I didn't read anything yet, guys, so um, I'm just gonna use my past experience with the gimbal that I use from Came TV, which is the uh, single. Really nice handle here. Let's go ahead and line this up. And you can see there's a lock right there. I'm just gonna twist that to the lock position, just like so. It's pretty secure. I'm gonna stand it up. I'm gonna put a mini tripod thing here so that we can stand it up. Handle more weight. Let's go ahead and twist this here. Should twist just fine. It's just so much easier when you have this installed. So here we go. We got the Came TV Profit standing up, and it's now time to balance this son of a bitch. You can like flip it over and do the other way as well. But since my monitor is on the left side when I shoot, I want to shoot it this way. Cool. Now what I'm going to do now is change the camera point of view so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, let's install the QR plate that came with the gimbal. I'm just gauging it guys. That's a really nice long QR plate. And I think it is compatible with Manfrotto tripods, which is good because that's what I have. Okay, I thought it was touching the the lens ring, but it's not. So that's good. So here we go. Just screwing this thing in. Install this. Let's see if we can do it backwards. Sometimes in some gimbal you can. Nope, can't do it backwards. First problem, QR plate won't slide in. Uh-oh, what's going on? It's your own QR plate. Let's try it backwards. Won't work either backwards. There it is. Oh my God. Okay, what the hell? It's backwards, man. Okay, it's backwards maybe because I I'm using it on the right side. So, what we'll do now... I'm trying to put this... Yeah, it's backwards, because I'm doing it on the right side. Which makes sense. Kind of. Okay, so if you're flipping it over to the other side, the QR plate is not going to look right. Because I think it's made for the left side. For the motors being on the left. So let's go ahead and there we go. Tighten it up. Looks great. We're going backwards. There you go. It's in. Now I'm gonna have the camera all the way to the right. All the way to the right. So I'm gonna lock this down. Lock the QR plate down. By press um, by tw twisting these two knobs down here, one for the QR plate and one for the left and right movement of your camera. All right, so there you go. Front heavy, which we already know that. So what we'll do is move the camera back a little bit more. Release this. Twist this here. There we go. That's the left and right. We did the wrong one. Or I did the wrong one. We're moving the camera back. You know what? Let me go ahead and flip the, the monitor out. And move that camera. There. Sweet. Man, starting to look good. It might actually work, you guys. It might actually work. Here we go. All right, initial setup, heavy on the right side. So what do we do? Bottom again, 
and move the camera left. Do we have any more? Okay, we have more room. Perfect. That's good. Okay, here we go. We're gonna flip the camera on its back. Okay, see it's tilting. So, we're gonna unscrew this and move it the opposite direction. Turn this knob here. Ooh, that's hitting the right of the camera. So, there you go. Just fix it up like that. Screw it just a little bit. Pull it out. There. And we're gonna move this towards higher. Okay, a little bit more. It's real precise. Just turn this knob. Keep going until our camera is not falling down. Almost there. Ooh, I think we're maxing out on one. There, did too much. Okay, this is looking great. Funny thing is, I don't even know how to turn this thing on. I'm just balancing for now. So, tighten the knob again. Boom. Now it's facing down. So, what do we do? I have no idea. So we go like this. It's moving forward just a little bit more. So, let's move it back. Moving the camera back a little bit more. Just leaning to the right now. Now this is the first setup. So this is gonna take long. Okay. Still moving forward. The lens is still front heavy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to remove this eyepiece here. Give us more clearance in the back side. Let's see if we can move it back some more. There. There you go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the Kame TV Prophet can balance the Sigma 1835. Now, I'm going to move this a little bit because it is leaning to the left a little bit. Sorry, on the way. Just messing with this thumb screw so I can adjust it so it doesn't go left and right. Oh man, this is awesome. Exciting times. Alright, so now I'm going to do the last thing is the yaw. That is barely clearing it. I mean, if I had some counterweights on top, yeah, look at that. But you can probably balance it better than I can. But I just had to remove the eye cup. Alright, so we're gonna do the yaw now. I do this, move it to the right, it's moving to the left. So we have to mess with this thing right here and move it front and back. Until it doesn't move left and right anymore. Still going left. So, do it again. Keep going until it doesn't move anymore. Move anymore. There we go. There you go. It doesn't move left or right. Good. <laughs> All right, so let's put the battery on. Came pre-charged, so that's awesome, guys. This is great news. Oh, did I just move by itself? It just did.
I'm going to pan up. Sorry about the mess. And I haven't touched any of the settings. And to be honest, I don't even know what the modes are. But I guess it was turned on. Turn the power on. Um, what's, what's, oh, I'm in autofocus. That's not good. Okay. Okay, so without changing any of the settings, without using the app, oh, oh I'm pressing, I'm pressing the, the button. Thought it was just going up by itself. All right, guys, leave in the comments. See you guys later.